Hey there, my name is Graham Wolf, and today I found a really interesting game on um, MIT Game Lab a couple of years ago, and I'd like to share this with you. It's called. Well, that's not it. A slower speed of light. Now, this game answers the question what does it look like when you're approaching speeds? At the speed of light. The answer is when this little guy right here he reaches a uh, 670 miles, 670 million miles per hour, you should go and see some serious shit. <laughs> Once upon a time in a quiet village, there was a little child. Sadly, the child fell into death's icy grip far too soon. So the little child spirit began the journey to become one with the light. But the speed of life was too fast for the small and clumsy child chunk small and clumsy little spirit. Luckily, the spirit world is full of magical orbs that slow down light. <laughs> Can't get to the speed of light? <laughs> Bring it to you. Collect orbs slow down light to walking speed so you can finally move on. See how many orbs you collect. Compare your own speed to the light speed. As light get, light gets slower, you will start to see beyond what humans typically see. This is a very, very awesome game. It's gonna load. <laughs> I was having problems with it before a couple of years ago, but now I have a slightly faster computer than what I did back then. So it should cooperate. As you see. Oh, that's awesome music too. Everything looks pretty normal here. Travel around. I guess we're moving pretty fast because things are blue shifted. And as you see, as I go the other way, it's red shifted. I'll just we'll just take a walk around the uh, village. See what's going on over here. I must have picked up a warp already because I shouldn't be moving this fast. Hey, how you guys doing? Y'all dead too, huh? No, oh, so this. Hey there. I can't really interact with any new people. Alright. Let's start her up. One. Two. Little tiny spirit houses. For some reason though, the, the controls get a little bit wonky as well. Maybe it's just your eyes trying to adjust to what you're seeing. But it does seem like it gets a little faster and, you, and the character starts sliding around. Here we go! <laughs> yeah, these are like tank controls here. Ooh. 
Yeah, that's why you. That's what happens when you jackknife and sub light speeds. Yeah. As you see, we're starting to see more infrared here. Your perception of space gets distorted about here. Start, as you can see, we're starting to see a circle in the middle of the screen here, indicating where we're moving toward. Boom. Now, shit gets crazy. Uh, yeah, move backwards. Now we're slow down. Mm. Let's speed up again. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Vision is starting to get really weird, and you notice the screen is starting to stretch out. Boom. It's, it's more noticeable right there. This is about the part where reality stops making sense. All right. It's like a bubble forming around us. Whoa, 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 whoa. In a way, it's kind of scary, actually. tree <laughs> I 
Here we go. It's kind of creating a cone of where we're going as well. Well, I guess the cone is like this. And we're looking down the cone at it. I guess you could say it's a light barrier that's forming ahead of us. What if I ever achieve these speeds? I mean, right now we're going at 86% speed of light. Eighty ninety percent. A few more to go. God, look at that. I'm moving backwards right now because all the light is behind was behind me at that point, so all I could see before me was pitch, pitch black. Remember kids, don't hang your head out the back of the spaceship while it's going 92% of the speed of light. Yeah. I think this level of uh, ultraviolet, there are levels, there are colors that we can't even fathom. <sighs> now, this is what it's like to travel at the speed of light, at or higher than. At the speed of light. Ooh, ah. Oh, I want to dance around a little bit more. Light, time, gravity. Just all are interconnected, so your perception of reality was stretch to the infinity. Here, I'll give you an explanation of what happened here. Make everything as simple as possible, but not simpler. In a slower speed of light, this speed of light slows down with every orb you pick up. It is impossible for you to reach speed of light, but certain relativistic effects become more visible as you get very close. Light waves like a behaves like a wave and appears and different wavelengths appear as different colors. As you you and other objects move around, the wavelength of light changes, appearing redder or bluer to your eyes. Some light becomes infrared or ultraviolet, which you're 
eyes cannot usually see and other visible sorts of light will become visible. Light also be behaves like a stream of particles called po photons. When you run toward a stream of photons, more photons hit you and the object becomes brighter. This is also this effect is known as relativ relativistic aberration. Light always moves at the same speed, so if the speed of light is constant, then distances and times in the world around you have to warp. Your time is different from your from the time in the world, time dilation, and your distances are sim are different from the distances in the world, Lorentz transformation. You have to be much closer to the speed of light to notice the more dramatic effects of Lorentz transformation compared to the Doppler and searchlight effects. In the end of the game, the doc Doppler and searchlight effects are removed to make Lorentz transformation easy for you to see. <laughs> but how can time and space stretch and see so science? Oh wait a minute, wait a minute, I've never seen this before. I see heat! Ah, guys, it's it's too bright. Well, how can time and space stretch? It seems so science. <laughs> this little animations. Runtime effect. Normally, light is extremely fast, but it still takes time for photons to reach our your eyes. Our eyes. When you look at anything, you're actually observing incoming light from some time in the past. The farther you look into space, the further you look into history. This is noticeable when you look at objects moving relative to yourself. Normally, objects normally beyond your field of view can become visible when you move near at the speed of light, as you see them as they were in the past. <laughs> How beautiful! I wonder if they're dead. Look, it's been shot! Photon, for something so bright, you sure are slow. Color science. Now, how about this? It's a game with a bibliography. I love that! I could play this game over and over again because it's just so beautiful. It's science! It's just... At the end of the day, I'm still a scientist and I appreciate everything this game is doing. I'll put this link in the uh, description below so you two can start running around at the speed of light or a slower speed of light <coughs> thank you for watching my name is grand wolf and have a great day